So how do you choose a paint color for your home? Well, I can tell you how not to do it is by getting your paint samples and getting little chips and putting them on the wall. And then you stand back and you're looking at these little teeny tiny chips, but it's gonna be consuming all of your walls if you're going with all four walls to be painted. So this is, this is wrong. So the right way to do it is to either hire your color consultant, interior design professional, or narrow down your choices, have your fabrics or your tile or whatever it is that you're uh, comparing your paint to to make sure that it's gonna work in the space with everything else that you've got and use a large painted board. In this instance here, I've got this color. And as soon as I put that in behind there, just look at how I can see like, wow, yeah, that green could go. It's really pulling out some of the greens here. Um, so there's, but you can see instantly without kind of taking a little something and putting it up. So this definitely is going to work with this fabric here. There's the peacock blue there, but now we have it on a bigger scale. So now we can say, hey, look how fabulous that's looking with this fabric. Okay, so I'm not putting these two in the same room necessarily, by the way, I'm just showing you different colors and how to use a large paint chip. So, and I know sometimes people say, well, it's just paint, I could repaint it. Well, painting A is time consuming if you're doing it yourself, or B, if you're paying someone to do it, it, it is costly. I mean, you know, there's a lot of prep work involved. We really wanna make sure that we're getting it right. So let's not do this and let's do this. Paint it big, this is 11 by 14. If you wanna go bigger, the bigger you can go, the better. And the other trick is too, is that when you are comparing it, that you are comparing it to white. So sometimes I flip my boards around and I make sure that I have a white background as opposed to say I have an orange on the wall. So I'm not looking at it against the orange on the wall. And then really see if you can move it around different times of the day. And that way you're getting the different light exposure and you're really getting a good idea of how that paint color is going to look before you actually commit yourself to that paint color. So there you go. Get big boards, don't paint the wall, paint the board and you can move it around with you, okay? So there's your color tip and let me know uh, how your painting job is coming along and how you choose your paint colors.